Mayfly is probably a well-known animal by now, especially if you like fly fishing. Even so, there is a significant misunderstanding about them. When I search mayfly on YouTube, many of the title is about how short their life is, how they only live for one day. But the thing is, that's just wrong. It's a good title though, good for clickbaiting, but it's wrong. So, let me just brought up the question. What exactly is mayfly? Mayflies are insects in the Ordo Ephemeroptera. Ephemeroptera means ephemeral wings, which kinda sounds cool, doesn't it? Sounds like it's a video game thing. Mayfly themselves are called mayfly because they usually emerge in May. But in reality, not really. Late May, perhaps, but I think most of them emerge during June to July. It varies between species, really. Some even emerge in the autumn. But it's whatever, right? Just a name. They are the so-called primitive forms of wing insects, the closest relative to dragonflies. I'm sure you could see the resemblance from this image. They are grouped together in the clade Paleoptera based on their wings, traditionally at least. Their wings cannot be fold into their abdomen, while the other wing insects, the Neoptera, can do so. If you go to a clean river, then try picking a rock on the riverbed, you might see these little creatures wiggling around. If you look closer, these are three different groups of animals, usually called the EPT. E stands for Ephemeroptera, the mayfly. P stands for Plecoptera, the stonefly. T stands for Trichoptera, or Trichoptera, if you prefer to pronounce it that way. They are called the caddis fly. EPT are important for ecological studies because they are commonly used as indicator for clean river. But wait, let's look at this mayfly. This doesn't really look like the mayfly that we used to see, right? Yes, exactly. So, let's talk about their life cycle. These little creatures are their larvae. More specifically, called Nayat. Nayat or Nayat is a term used to call the insect larvae or nymph that are aquatic. Mayfly Nayats have chewing mouth. They can be herbivores or even predators. Varies between species. Oh, and by the way, their overall looks could also largely vary between species. Some stick to sediments and rocks. Some could also burrow. And so, the easy way to differentiate between the three EPT naiads is by looking at their rear end. Ephemeropteras have three caudal filaments. The two outer filaments are called cerci, while the middle is usually just called a filament, or sometimes specifically called the terminal filament. On the contrary, Plecoptera have two caudal filaments. Meanwhile, Trichoptera have none. They only have these spurs and bristles. But then, let's get back to mayfly. Sometimes the terminal filament is really short, so you might not be able to see it clearly. In some species, it might be completely absent. So yeah, it varies. These bristles alongside their abdomen are their gills. These can also be used to differentiate them from the stonefly's naiad because the stonefly naiad's gills are on their thorax. These naiads can live for a long time, usually around a year to three years even. This is significantly longer than many of the commonly known insects' lifespan even. For example, butterflies usually spend their life as larvae for about few weeks. And guess what? Their lifespan as adult butterflies are also only few weeks or months maybe up to around one year in several species. So, imagine that. Mayflies are actually not short-lived at all. Many of them even outlive butterflies. Anyway, after long months or years living as naiads, they became the sub-imago. The fishermen called them done. This stage is unique to the mayflies. 
the subimago has wings and already resembled the adult form, but actually has not reached sexual maturity yet. In other winged insects, once wings emerge, that also means sexual maturity. But for the mayflies, they have to undergo one more molting to become imago, which is the adult form. These subimago don't last long, sometimes only for hours. Some can span for a few days. After that, they finally mold into the adult form, imago. And yes, many of you might have already known, they don't last long as imago. They have severely reduced mouth and digestion system, because they don't eat at all. Their imago form is basically only spent for reproduction and choosing a good spot to lay egg. Once they breed, they lay their egg in the river and then die soon after. These are what the fishermen call spinners. The eggs will then hatch after a few weeks. Even so, it varies between species, as always. While yes, most usually only live as imago for one or two days, some can last for a week or more. For example, Calibaetis floridanus is actually ovoviviparous. After they mate, females need to gestate around 9 days before then finally laying their eggs. This egg hatch immediately. So yeah, quite a significant difference indeed. Anyway, fishes love this moment. It's like a buffet for them. Free food. While I'm looking for resources for this video, I stumbled upon the event called the Blooming of Tisa. It's where people came to Tisa River to watch the Tisa Virak bloom. It basically means the flower of Tisa, I believe. And if you haven't guessed it already, yes, what's called the flower of Tisa is a species of mayfly, Palingenia longicauda. What's quite interesting about them is that they basically never leave the river. They fly just above the river, not moving away like many other species of mayfly. They do this bridal dance for hours, before then laying their egg and died. And so, they reproduce and lay egg in the same river constantly. Each individual starts and ends their life in the same river. Which is why, this event is an annual thing for the people of Hungary. You can usually see this event for around 2 to 4 days in early to mid June. So, if you really love insects, you could consider planning for this trip. Mayfly is probably my favorite group of insects. Their fleeting life somehow feels very precious and charming to me. And let me just be honest, that name, Ephemeral Wings, just sounds really edgy to me. And Young Me likes it. Even more so, their Japanese name is Kagero, which kinda sounds like they are the shadow insect or something. Even more edgy. Anyway, maybe because I'm fond of them, it just makes me sad when people took their life history in a negative way. I've heard and seen some people say how futile their life is, living only for a day, only to reproduce and die. I even heard some people resonate with that and say it how they are useless as a person, living a meaningless life. And I completely disagree with that. As I've explained before, they actually live a long life. It's just that most of that life was not spent as an adult. And that's completely fine, to me at least. Don't think only the imago matters. Every single stage of their life matters. And don't even start saying their life is useless. They actually have a lot of contribution. As I've said, we use them as bioindicators of clean water. They are also an important part of the food chain of course. Some even important for breaking down substances from water, keeping the water clean. Some burrowing mayfly naiads also contributes to water flows and bioirrigations. And as I've said before, some have cultural significance, like the one in Tisa River. Do mayflies realize their contribution to our lives? Probably not. But in fact they do. So are every single one of you. Your life matters. Every single part of it. Life can be fleeting. 
I could even die right after I made this video. And that is fine. Such is life. Life is not fair nor unfair. Neither good nor bad. Life is just life. So, enjoy your life. And that's all for now.